Welcome to I Am Geek, the show for the geek in all of us. I am Ryan Street, and again, I'm here with my brother, Chris Street, and our good friend, Chris Catron. How you guys doing tonight? Oh, we're oh, doing just awesome. lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Awesome. <laughs> I think we're all in a weird mood tonight, so it's going to yeah. be fun. It's going to be interesting. Crazy. Episode five. Episode five. Can you believe it? Mm. Can't. It's a, it's a full no. hand for most people. <laughs> for, for most. <laughs> for most people. I, I, some may have a little more. Some have a little less. You never know. <laughs> if you can tell by my voice, I, I have some upper respiratory thing going on. So I'm all stopped up on cold medicine. So this should be should be a blast. Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, that's great. And I've been up since 5 in the morning. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> Fun times. And Catron's yeah. just Catron. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm just me, so it's you know you never know what you're gonna always. get. <laughs> yeah. Always weird. Always weird. <laughs> so uh, Flash came back this week. We'll just kick Ooh, it off with yes. that. Emo Barry made his debut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if they combined the musical episode with this one, they could have had Spider Man three. I know. <laughs> I thought it yeah. was funny that his voice was like a lot like. <laughs> Deeper or like just yeah. weird. Yeah, it happens when you get older. It's seven years older though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. like yeah, you grow deeper. Yeah, I mean, he was already in his twenties, right? Is in. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's it's not like he's that much older, but it, yeah, it just cracked me up the whole time because uh, it's just <laughs> was so much deeper. But it, I don't know, it, it mm-hmm. was weird, but it was good. I thought. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it was good. Enjoyed yeah. it. So, who, any guesses on who um, Savitar is? Uh, well, I got a couple of thoughts. I think it. I think it's one of two people. Hold on one second they, before you say that. Oh, and now oh, it's yeah. time for theory time with Chris Street. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Gather round, children. It's that part of the show when we talk about Chris's theories. <laughs> Sit down around the fire. Have a little chat. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, theories. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's one of two people. Uh, I've been talking to people who work about this, too, because we we've got like a little flash group at work that we're talking about. Um, and because uh, we, we have a lot to do at work. Um, <laughs> Sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> we, just, we just talk about flash half the day. And the other day, we rest. We just kind of stare at the computer. Um, but I think one, I think, could be uh, Robbie, the first half of Firestorm. He uh, got sucked into that uh, time vortex thing, and supposedly died. And then, like Caitlin as uh, Killer Frost, seems like she knows who this person. Seems like she knows who this is. And if it's something close to her, like him, I would see her like instantly, like, yeah, I'm going to follow you right off the bat. I don't care what's happening. I'm with you type thing. And so it, that, that's a possibility. The other one, which I think is a little bit more possible, is Eddie, the detective that shot himself to help mm. kill uh, Reverse Flash, who is Iris's boyfriend. Uh, 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 like he got sucked into a yeah. time portal. Everybody's getting sucked into time portals all the time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and if if he got sucked in and went crazy or whatever, uh, then yeah, he would want to hurt Barry and uh, killing Iris because he was with Iris. And now she's with him. That could have drove him more crazy. And plus, him getting sucked in there, maybe uh, uh, a bunch of remnants and stuff kind of formed around him and healed him and formed the suit. And that's what gives him his mm. speed function a little bit. I don't know. Interesting. But that's it. That's my <laughs> theory, children. Go and about this your is business, now. <laughs> Theories with Chris. <laughs> well, uh, you can check out our, our Twitter at I Am Geek Show, and you can tell Chris if he's wrong or, or if he's right, or you can give your own theories. But we'd love for you to go over there and, and uh, follow us and, and check us out and tell Chris how wrong he is. <laughs> Which is quite often. Um, <laughs> quite often. Uh, it could be one good of those. Theory. Those two make the most sense. Um, yeah. Do you have any thoughts on who it might be? 
Oh, it's probably Gorilla Grodd. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Or Aquaman. One of those two. Aquaman. Aquaman. That's right. I didn't see the the um the orange paint or orange shirt and green pants, so I don't think it was Aquaman. Oh. No, he was, he was all kind of darkish. Well, the yeah. look on her face, it had to be somebody that she was close to. Definitely, yeah. Was, yeah. As soon as he came out, she was like, okay, whatever you want. And it was just like no hesitation. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, and we know it's not uh, HR or Wally or yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Detective Best. Yeah. Or uh, Draco, whatever his name is. Draco Malfoy, yeah. We saw them all the they yeah, they weren't trapping. I I thought maybe her, you know, her boyfriend that was killed or whatever happened to him at the beginning. That, um, but he's doing something else, so I don't I don't know. He, he guest starred. He's guest starred. Yeah. On oh, that. right. Yeah. Season. I mean, but he's yeah, he's a different character or whatever. That's what I mean. So I don't yeah. I don't know. But at the same time, we did see who you were talking about. I thought earlier this season too. We saw both. Uh, yeah. Robbie and Eddie in the Speed Force. Like yeah. it was like the Speed Force using their that's images. Right. To oh talk yeah. To yeah. yeah. I, so I don't know. Yeah. I guess I we know. find out next week. Yeah. The 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 one thing that bothered me this episode was yeah I was talking to the older Barry and he was like you need to help me and like older Barry like trapped Savitar in the Speed Force so he knew how to do it. Yeah. But when they first meet, he's like, I'm not helping you whatsoever. Like, not even <laughs> offering up that information. Yeah. And then later on, it gets brought up with, like, oh, this like doctor or professor person came up with how to do it. Like, uh, here, I'll just give you the information and let her from the past figure it out rather than going to talk to the one in the future who already knows how to do it. <laughs> That's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could have went like four years back and got the information, right? Well, yeah, well, he didn't even have to do that. If she's still alive in 2024, he could have just like run down the street and talked to her. <laughs> but they didn't know where she was. That was what he said. Oh, was that it? Well, yeah, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, he could have just gone four years in the past, and because he seems to be really accurate on this time travel now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's, I mean, it's it's a superhero show. There's always plot holes that you're just like, well, that doesn't make sense. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, but it was still good. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Always, always like uh, uh, the actress when she gets to play Killer Frost. She always hams it up really well. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> so, yeah. is is he going to save her, or is she going to die? I don't know. Uh, the producer guy said that, like, when we see the last episode this season, it's going to be a cliffhanger, and we're all going to be sad. So. She's not dying. Someone's dying. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I, it'll probably appear that she <laughs> died or something. And if it's a cliffhanger, I don't know. Because they do that all the time, right? It's like, oh, yeah. they died. Uh, and then you come back and it's like, oh, not really. They This happened. <laughs> it's like, ah. But, Fooled you. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's the norm. <laughs> Uh, what would you think of uh, the future Flash suit? Um, to be honest, I didn't really notice that much of a difference. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I thought the same thing because they were they were making fun of the old one. Oh, the classic one. It was like, it's a different shade <laughs> is, is about it, you know? And that's all I could tell. Yeah. Well, if you look at them, yeah, it's like the old one is like compared to the new one. The old one's definitely maroon. And the yeah. New- Right. Red, and then the new one has like more lightning bolts all over it. Um, Ooh, that, lightning bolts all over it! Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, more <laughs> lightning bolts. <laughs> this one lightning bolt crazy. They went to like Oprah, and she's like, "Lightning bolts for everyone! <laughs> you get a lightning bolt! You get a lightning bolt!" <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, speaking of superheroes, the uh, Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. Uh, game trailer and uh, gameplay trailer came out this week. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember playing these games long ago. I don't know if you guys played them or not. Um, oh, it's one of my favorite games to play. I always love the fighting games. Who was your uh, go-to characters? Uh, I would either 
uh, well, you can do the team up. Yeah. So yeah, I would I would always pick uh, Mega Man and Spider Man. Oh. The Mega Man had the big old power shot that you could do where he gets all the armor and like blasts everything on the screen, and then Spider Man was super quick. Yeah. I'd always go Iron Man or War Machine or and Venom. I think I think I'll do Venom. Mm, Venom was good because I think it was War Machine or somebody just had those huge guns who would just come down and like blow everybody away. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of the new trailer? Uh, I like it. I think mean, it's fun. Uh, I had to look up Sigma. I totally forgot who that was. And that would but be. Villain. That was uh, uh, Mega Man X. He's the villain in the Mega Man X games. Uh, and he has a very similar like story to Ultron, so it kind of makes sense for their... Both so they're going to combine robots, right? somehow? Yeah, they, they do a Dragon Ball Z fusion, <laughs> and, and they become one character for all those Dragon Ball Z fans. <laughs> Does his hair change color or anything? As, as they're both staring at me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they do a little fusion dance, and then they touch they touch fingers, Ooh. and they combine to become one character. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Duh. Yeah. Does Pikachu come out, too? He's, I know he's a different world, but... <laughs> so what do they do with the dragon's balls? Uh, make wishes. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, Get your wonder. So Sigma basically disappears from what I could tell from the trailer. And it's Ultron with maybe Sigma's yeah. sword or something. Yeah, he he. Bas- they basically combine and form Brainiac. I think <laughs> it looks like Brainiac. <laughs> <laughs> mm. There is a list of uh, characters that have come out. Um, I'm interested that uh, in Rocket Raccoon, they're going to have Rocket Raccoon in there. That'll be fun. Yeah, I want Rocket Raccoon to turn to somebody and go, "Hey, see that Mega Man guy? Can you go get me his hand? All I need is his hand." <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> but there's no there's no Groot yet. Just Rat Rocket Raccoon. Maybe he comes with Rocket. Maybe okay. so. Um, with them or and of course, you got Captain America, Captain Marvel, which mm-hmm. are which are coming out with a movie of Captain Marvel um, sometime. Yeah, with uh, Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. I think she's going to show up in Infinity War first. Oh, cool. And then they have everybody's favorite Chris Redfield. Uh, oh, that guy. <laughs> yeah. He's got the thing with the thing, and he can. He's, he's got a gun. Guy. He's got a good oh, first yeah. name. I think yeah. I could be wrong, but I think he's um in that zombie game. I just forgot the name. Resident right. Evil. Resident Evil. I think so. That yeah, that would make sense because didn't that, they do Capcom did that, didn't they? I think so. That, I think so. That sounds right to me so i'll go with that I, yeah. I think that's what it is I, I thought that too but i couldn't quite connect the dots but i think that's right yeah um, yeah because in the trailer it like made this big thing out of them yeah, like, like oh chris redfield's here <laughs> and it's like okay. it's like, it's like he, he, he shot him in the shoulder and it did nothing he turns around and it's like oh there's a guy with the pistol yeah. all right <laughs> know um, who you are <laughs> and then you got chun Li. um which is, mm-hmm. she's always a favorite. Mm-hmm. And Hawkeye, um, Hulk, Iron Man, Mega Man X. Um, <laughs> Morgan? Morgana? Morgana, yes. Yeah. That's, um, was it Dark something? Yeah, she's like a bat lady. Yeah, uh, she's in a, like a fighting game type thing. I can't think of that. Yeah. Um, like a sexy bat. Yeah. Ryu. Ryu. <laughs> um, no kin yet. Ryu or, or Ryu? Whatever. Um, I thought <laughs> I thought I saw. I've heard it both ways. <laughs> um, Ken in the in the one of the trailer. Maybe they don't have him listed yet, but I'm sure he's going to yeah. be in it. Yeah. Um, Strider's going to be in it. 
He's fun. I don't know what game he's from. I just uh, know him from he's Marvel. From Strider? He's from Strider. from <laughs> Strider. He's from a game called Strider. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, Which they made a, uh, a couple of years back. They made one for PS4 that was a free game that you got, and it was so much fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, it took sort of like the old game, and it was like side scroll, and uh, but it was like they beefed it up, and it was really fun. So That's cool. you should check. That I out. actually. Yeah, I actually played the original Strider the other day on my uh, my Retro Pie, and uh, I, it played it for like five minutes. <laughs> I was like, I can't play this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Who, who am I? Who am I trying to fool? <laughs> the newer one's fun, and it wasn't that hard. Yeah, um, that's good. And then Thor, and then of course Ultron, and Sigma is a DLC character, which. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not a big fan. Every, a everybody big fan. loves DLC. Oh, everybody hates it. Well, but they yeah. know people will why buy them. Make, oh, it's ridiculous. Why would they yeah. make him a DLC? Like, I uh, just, I mean, are people going to be clamoring to get him? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I think they said Maybe. if you pre-order and get some special pack, you get like eight DLC characters. So it sounds like most of the characters are going to be. Pay to play. Oh, that's yeah, nice. I don't like that. I don't that's, like that either. You know, yeah, they really. Mess- it. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, 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 no, go you, ahead. You are right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> if I'm gonna pay sixty dollars, if I'm gonna pay sixty dollars to play a game, yeah. I think it should be the game, the full game. Yes. Not half the game, and then pay another thirty dollars or whatever to get the rest of the game. Yeah, I saw a little, it was like a little meme or something where it said like games before and games now. And it was like games before is like a, a square that was a game and then a small DLC to the side. And the next one was games now is like a, a square with a big chunk taken out of it for the game. And then like a giant chunk for DLC next to it. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. The worst has been uh, the Destiny game so far. You know, it's just the, you buy this game. And then you play it, and then they've released the DLC, and it totally changes the game, and you can't go back and play what you originally bought. And then oh, if you are if you didn't buy the DLCs, you're just kind of, you can't really do what you originally paid for, and it, it, it just went on and on and on, and they just kept, it's almost like they just kept updating the game with these big, expensive updates, and you end up spending a ton of money if you went all the way with the game, you know, and to where they are now with it, but that, uh, yeah, yeah. that, the, that whole model is, is crazy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I yeah. don't like it. Yeah. yeah. When I, I, I've only bought like maybe one DLC and that was star Wars battlefront. And that's got it. Cause yeah, I'm a star Wars fan. <laughs> what? But, uh, no. <laughs> oh, you're not. Yeah. But it was really fun playing in Java's <laughs> palace. That was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's what, Marvel versus Capcom. Of, oh, sorry. Well, right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Just, I just <laughs> want to keep interrupting people tonight and just keep talking. Please raise your hand. <laughs> uh, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Teacher? Yes. Go ahead. Um, uh, I saw at the end of that trailer, which was cool, and I just want these things. Where like these statues of the characters, and then like a collection of the Infinity Stones. And I, yeah. I just want that. <laughs> well, you'll pay a pretty penny if you want that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. It's like three, four hundred dollars. It's like the deluxe, <laughs> deluxe, deluxe set. And I'm sure there's only one probably statue that comes in each probably. Yeah. <laughs> but no. you can buy them later on eBay for triple the price probably. Ooh, sure. okay. <laughs> those things, I mean, I guess some people buy those things, but I always see those box sets sitting in game stores and stuff just sitting on the shelf collecting dust because yeah. nobody wants to pay that much <laughs> what do you mean you don't have a master chief helmet sitting back there somewhere no oh, come on no, I don't. <laughs> uh yeah those those are kind of ridiculous sometimes they're worth it for to get the dlcs ahead of time if you're wanting you know you're going to buy them you know on, on some of these bigger games like the ghost recon game that just came out you get the stuff coming out later with the, the diff, you know different maps, whatever it's going to be. But uh, you can get it a little bit cheaper. But 
Um, but yeah, most people, I don't think buy for surely for all the, the neat little box it comes in and the, 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 <laughs> the glasses or whatever. I don't know, whatever they come with nowadays, but whatever those whippersnappers are getting these days. Hey, but if you're listening <laughs> and you have bought all those, we still love you. Yeah, have fun with them. Yeah, More power yeah. to you. Fine. You're, good. With them. You're good. <laughs> You're good. Which we have <laughs> listeners all over the world now, I guess. Wow. Ooh, we have wow. somebody listening in um, American Samoa. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I love those Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> wow. You know they're not called they're not called we just lost here them. in. Um, and, and we just Houston. lost that beer. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That was Chris. Just don't pay no attention to him. You know, here in Houston, when I bought um, Girl Scout cookies uh, a couple months ago, uh, I wanted those up. Those are some of my favorites. And I went to get them, and they're not called Samoas here. They're called Caramel Delights. Uh, so yeah. I guess it depends cool. on what part of the country you're in, what they're called. I feel like I've seen those before too. I, I thought those were the knockoffs for some reason. Maybe not. I guess uh, not. interesting. Um, just like um, some places, the shortbread cookies are called shortbread cookies, and some of places they're called um, tree tree foils. Troy tree foils. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's absolutely. what we have here. Yeah. So, and Memphis. But thin mints are always thin mints. I think. Mm-hmm. As they should be. <laughs> yeah, my dog is in the background snoring. So if you hear, <laughs> if you hear snoring, I haven't fallen asleep. It's a very riveting episode. It's we our have listeners; they're <laughs> falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Girl Scout cookies, yeah. Uh, but yeah, London and um, all over the country wow. and the U.S. People listening, and just thanks for listening, but. But since uh, Marvel vs. Capcom has come out with their trailer, we thought, you know, we can't let them get all the glory. We can't let them have no. all the fun. We've uh-uh, got to do uh-uh. something ourselves. So we're gonna we're gonna try something a little different here on I Am Geek starting next week. It's gonna be our own uh, tournament tournament of champions, but we're gonna call it the Battle Royale with Cheese because we're geeks and that's what we do. So we're gonna have our own <laughs> Battle Royale with Cheese. And it's going to be mm-hmm. um, 20 um, combatants, 20 participants that we've randomly chosen. We're going to pit them up against each other. We're going to have sort of a debate. Two people will um, get a, a character each week. And the third person is going to be sort of the moderator and sort of decides who wins uh, the debate of the characters. And then there will also be a special power that's thrown in every week by the uh, the moderator so you Ooh. so the combatants will not know what their special power is it could be anything it could be uh, a toaster it could be um, <laughs> a bazooka from um, the worms games I don't know it could be Ooh. it could be uh, a book a telephone book I don't know it could be anything those are thick yeah, those will hurt. But uh, for next hurt. week to start it off, I've already done the um, the tournament listing. I, I went online. I found a site where I could just put in a bunch of random names. We each chose our top people that we thought would be good in it. I put all those into this. Um, beep, boop, 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 boop. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, computers. <laughs> oh, so technical. Robotic <laughs> thing online that sorts and picks people at random. Chose the uh, 20 participants and put them in their their order for the tournament um, map or whatever you want to call it. Uh, brackets, mm. brackets. That's what I'm, brackets. Put it in yes. as brackets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't think we'll give away all the the people yet. No. I think yeah, we'll, it'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. But, but I think I'll go ahead and I'll assign you guys uh, the, your combatants for next week so you can prepare. All right. They're so excited. They're they're looking into their screens. Oh, they can barely Who's contain themselves. Who's it gonna be? Okay. Come on. So, Come on. <laughs> no, it's okay. not Watto. Oh, wouldn't that be fun though? Uh, <laughs> so the first two random uh, combatants that came up, uh, Chris, I'm gonna give you 
Wait, which Chris? <laughs> so there's, there's Chris and then there's Katrin. That's okay. That's how it, there you go. <laughs> so Chris, uh, you are awarded the um, the guy that slices and dices, the shredder. The Shredder oh. from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh. He will be your combatant for next week. So you got to plan. Oh, you got to think of his his strengths, his weaknesses. You got to know his backstory. You got to know everything, so you oh, can come yeah. in and you can debate oh, and, and debate and debate. I, I know it all already. <laughs> I know it all already. I see it now. <laughs> but you know, he's been in cartoons. He's been in comics. He's been in movies. Mm-hmm. So you got to figure yeah. out what's his yeah, best gotta... attributes in all of those. Can he have vanilla ice? Fest. Can <laughs> vanilla ice be his uh, secret weapon? <laughs> That's his secret weapon. <laughs> if you can do part of the rap right now, you can have vanilla ice. <laughs> uh, I I could do it, but I don't know. If we we might get charged for it. Yeah, just, just give us a little. Right give us a little snippet. <laughs> I don't think he's. I don't think he's gonna do it, guys. I don't think. Uh, so. I, I I I can, <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we got too much riding on this, man. We can't, yeah. we can't be messing up. <laughs> well, they'll shut us down, man. Okay. Vanilla Ice okay. will come and shut us down. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, that guy's uh, doing pretty well, from what I hear. He, he apparently did well with his money, and he's he's doing all right. So uh, he he, he renovates Good houses thing. now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but he did get in some trouble because he stole some stuff from a construction site. Um, a while back, <laughs> um, vanilla ice. He can do whatever. But the thing is, like, he'll do these. These we're getting off on a tangent, but he'll do these big mansions, <laughs> and he'll put his like uh, his symbol or whatever he has, like in the bottom of the pool, and it's just like <laughs> pretty ugly looking. <laughs> but I don't know. He'll he'll put in these like weird elevators that you're like, do those things even work? Are they safe? But yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's still around. He's still yep. around. Uh, okay, so you have the the shredder, your prepare, and then Mister Catron. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, who are you gonna get? You are gonna get uh, one of one of uh, my favorite characters. So this is gonna be hard for you, Chris. Oh, I like this character Ooh. a lot. Dang it! Dang it! Uh, <laughs> uh, Legolas <laughs> from the Lord of the Rings series. Oh, yes. The, the, yes. the archer himself. So you have the elven the, archer. You have the shredder that can open cans, and then you have Legolas <laughs> that can uh, shoot arrows and run really fast and stuff, and and jump really weird on a horse. Yeah. But, did yeah. you ever y'all ever notice that? Right, and like one part is just like whoa. <laughs> it comes. It's like it's filmed backward, or they played it backwards, or something. It's really oh, awkward. probably did. And yeah. and then he can do the Fred Flintstone down like big. <laughs> Like yeah. creatures. I think if Chris gets if Chris gets uh, vanilla ice, then Katrin, you should get um, Gimli the the dwarf. Yes. Yeah. 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 He can. <laughs> he could run in, kind of like on the games where he'll just kind of shoot in there with his axe or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, if if I'm getting the ninja rap, then he's then he gets the the they're taking the yeah <laughs> they're taking the hobbit to Isengard to Isengard <laughs> to Isengard. <laughs> I think the losers should have to sing their song. Yeah. <laughs> People well, are listening well, going, all what I got, in the world? What the heck? <laughs> all I got to say is a Lego, Lego less or Lego lost. <laughs> oh. Uh, Smack talk and start trash. And this, can all, this can all come down to um, the weapons because Legolas could get like his big magnet or something and he could just like... <laughs> Pin shredder to the wall. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Yeah, or yeah. shredder can get a mirror, and Legolas just looks at himself the whole time and loses. That's true. <laughs> I, I would, you know, if I was shredder, I would probably want a big hollow tree, and then Legolas would be like, "Oh, I've got to go make cookies," and he would just go into the tree and make cookies. <laughs> <laughs> So there's so many special weapons. That... <laughs> so many possibilities. Uh, yeah. <laughs> an, an elf and a whatever Shredder is, an old samurai guy. Yeah. Yeah. Samurai, samurai warrior. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this, I think this is going to be fun. 
Uh, mm-hmm. And also, we want to hear what you guys think on on Twitter or uh, we have a Facebook group, um, Instagram. I am Geek Show. You can find us on there. We want to uh, hear what, who who you think is going to win uh, between Shredder and and Legolas, and then who maybe you want to see later on in the tournament. Maybe maybe we'll see if they're going to be on there. But I think yeah. we're going to have fun. A lot of people have done this. We're going to give our own little spin on it, and um, and then we'll see. Probably Marvel Cap versus Capcom people will see this, and they'll be like, "Oh, we need to give them free stuff." And they yes. give us free yeah. games yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's how it works, that'd right? Be good. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, spon- how. yeah sponsored by Lego. <laughs> yeah, so Marvel Capcom versus Capcom. Capcom. Yeah, please um, send us free games, and, mm-hmm. and we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk. About we'll play it, it mm-hmm. on on the podcast and. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> also, keep Keebler Elves. Please send us free cookies. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's that. So that will be next week. That will be. Um, that should be fun. Um, what else is going on? Uh, Star Wars Nine and Indiana Jones um, Five. Um, mm. Are we going to call it Five? Or are we going to call it? Right. Four redo, because yeah, Indiana Jones four was a little weird. <laughs> well, they 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 have to they have to do intermittent. Like the first one was really good, and the second one was kind of ad, and the third one was really good, and the fourth one was kind of ad. So the kinda fifth like Star, one's got to be really good. Yeah. Kind of like Star Trek. It was like yeah. every other one, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I'm interested. I mean, uh, about the Indiana Jones, they pushed it back a year. I don't know if that's to get um, Shia LaBeouf sort of. Through rehab and stuff to get him back on the <laughs> right course. Or... Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's got I'm a lot sorry. of work to do. A I'm lot sorry, of work poor guy. Uh, <laughs> I remember him from Even Stevens. If that, if that's a little callback, probably nice. nobody else does. But he was really funny in that show as a kid. And, and then holes. Wasn't he in yeah, holes. He was in holes. Oh, yeah. holes. He was good in holes. I like holes. He was great as a kid. And then, but the same yeah. same happens with all these Disney um, stars. Mm. They're made in some factory. So after a certain time, they like this sort of malfunction and stuff goes wrong. They they go past their best buy date basically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then they just sort of shut down or go crazy or I don't know. They're going to take over yep. the world one day. Um, so th- so I don't know if I don't know if they're going to continue on with what they did in four or if they're just going to wipe the slate clean and he's going to be yeah. he's going to be older. Harrison Ford, so... Mm-hmm. I mean, the, there was talks at some point about the next movie being like a like a back and forth between like a like the present of that movie and then the past and getting like a younger person to play him at some point. Yeah. So they continue with someone younger. Hmm. Maybe so. I uh, I just want Short Round back. Mm-hmm. What, just, what is Short Round doing these days? I just saw um, he is going to be at a convention. Um, yes. It's like his first convention in a long time. Like, I don't know. like Tennessee somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Oh. I was like, and have they're going to have, go they're gonna have him and they're going to have the person that played the, the, the kid that was like the king or prince or in that same oh. movie. The little kid. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's, this is going to be his first convention. So they're both going to be there. Nice. And um, I think we need an I Am Geek road trip then. I know. <laughs> I'm really interested <laughs> in what they look like now. Yeah. Because um, that's been a few years ago. Yeah, yeah a little bit. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they're, gonna, they're both still alive. So, there you go. Well, Good. They can Good. be in the next movie, you know. <laughs> they could. Maybe that's why. Who knows? I don't that's know. It. That's why they're there. Maybe maybe short round comes back and and like kills Shia LaBeouf's character. It's his place. <laughs> Doctor Jones. Doctor Jones. <laughs> Doctor Jones. Doctor Jones. <laughs> <laughs> emo short round. That's what we need. We need emo short round. <laughs> yeah, his voice has to be a lot deeper now that he got older. That's right. <laughs> so that will be 2020. So if the world hasn't exploded by then, we'll have a new Indiana Jones. Yeah. You never know. Well, well, before that, the year before, though, 2019, we're getting the Masters of the Universe. 
Yes. The He Man movie. He Man. Hopefully, hopefully, it'll be just as good as the original movie. Is Dolph yeah. Is Dolph going to be in it? Dolph Lundgren and Courtney Cox. Oh, I mean, yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I heard the director quit or something. Yeah, McG, MCG, however you say his yeah. name. It's three letters. Do they have? <laughs> is there anything going on with it at all, or they just said it's going to be made? <laughs> I, they just said it's going to be made. I think they're just like we lost the director, but don't worry. Here's a date. <laughs> We're getting this made. <laughs> so it may happen in 2019. It may happen. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but you know what's going to happen in 2019? Mm-hmm. Star Wars mm-hmm. Episode Nine. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited. I don't know if you guys are. Yeah. I thought it was interesting though that they're moving back to May. It's going to be May 24th instead of December. Yeah. Which the original yes. movies all came out. In May, mm-hmm. and then they switched yeah, it up was... to December, but they're moving mm-hmm. this one back to May. Mm-hmm. The whole May the Fourth be with you. So May, May the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth be with you. <laughs> <laughs> twenty more times. Doesn't have that ring, same ring to it, man. Yeah. It's like you got an older. It's like May the twenty fourth. Yeah, but it's gonna. So that means it's gonna be sooner than we originally thought. Mm-hmm. So, wow. so basically, yeah. um, episode eight would come out this December, and then you'll have Han Solo movie May twenty fifth, twenty eighteen. Yeah. yeah, so that should be interesting. Mm-hmm. And then you'll have the next year, May twenty fourth, episode nine. So nice. I'm, cool. in, I'm interested in the Han Solo movies. I don't know what they're going to do with it. There was a book series that I read mm-hmm. um, long ago that was based on the early years of Han Solo that was quite good. Um, I'm sure they won't keep that yeah. as canon, but we know that um, they have Lando cast and they have Han cast and mm-hmm. Woody, yeah, Woody Harrelson. Harrelson. He's going to be somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Which I saw an yeah. interview with him. And they asked if he was excited about being in Star Wars. And he was like, yeah, it's a job. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, very Woody Harrelson. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. He probably didn't know where he was at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do- donate money to the Omaze Foundation, you can be entered to win uh, a walk-on role, I think. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Anyways. Cool. So let's see what else. What else? Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so, did you, so earlier was it this week? I forget what it was. Uh, Chris uh, posted some pictures on on Facebook, and um, I did scandalous. Yeah. Let me tell you, <laughs> can't um, go to jail for things like oh, that. Yeah. Oh, oh man. He's like, oh, oh, so. yeah. And it's, it's <laughs> quite it's caused, it's caused quite a stir on his Facebook. Uh, he tried out this new um, app called the Face App. <laughs> yeah. Now it, you got app. it. You got it before they took down part of it. Oh, they took down part. I didn't realize they that. took down the Sparkle. Oh. Because people, um, I don't want to get too, you know, into this, but people were calling it racist. Um, ah. They said that it was <laughs> lightening their skin to make people look better. Um, so so they took that down so you got to experience the sparkle and oh, let, let me tell I, you well I, I experience the sparkle every day uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on constant sparkle uh, now we, this is a podcast so you can't see the pictures on here maybe we'll, we'll post them on our twitter because I think that yeah. would be funny but his sparkle let me tell you if Harry Potter <laughs> and and um, and Elijah Woods had a baby. It would be the Chris Street Sparkle. <laughs> that that describes me to a T. <laughs> uh, that is very true. And then the then yeah, there's so there's different versions you can do of it. And yeah, one of them uh, makes you into like you if you're a man, you can make yourself look like a woman. If you're a woman, you can make yourself look like a man. 
And if I'm, I mean, the manly one for me was was gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> but but the but the woman, uh, the woman was frightening. Well, now I would I wouldn't say frightening now, because you got a lot of comments on on that on on your Facebook. People liking that I, picture. I, I did um, most. Yeah, all the all the guys I know, <laughs> they were after me. Now um, you may not you may not agree <laughs> with this, but when I first saw the picture, this is going to get me in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble right here. <laughs> when I first saw the picture, I was like. That looks like our mom. <laughs> Actually, Gosh. Well, I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that. Well, it, mean, looked like, is... <laughs> it looked like, oh, if our mother had a daughter instead of a son, this is what she would look like. <laughs> I, I do tend to look, I mean, just, just me personally, I do look like the women in our family. Uh <laughs> Like if if you find old pictures of like our grandmother and and our mom and uh, I look like them. I basically look like I'm um, I'm basically the daughter that they didn't have. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm not saying I wasn't saying the picture was bad. I was like, hey, no, no. Uh, uh, I I was compared to um, the woman uh, Tommy that got kicked off the blaze. Uh, if anybody knows that reporter because uh she apparently got in trouble on the the blaze network and got kicked off i apparently looked like her oh. <laughs> now you did a you did an old man one too right i, I did an old man one and it just looks like me in the morning <laughs> um, <laughs> before, before i put my face on yeah before the spackle <laughs> yeah before all the spackle i mean I, I already have no hair anyway so it didn't have to do anything with that uh, but yeah, I, uh, yeah, the bags were emphasized under my eyes. Um, yeah, basically, yeah, I just look like, uh, I look like now because I've had a little sleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, after seeing yours, I thought I, I, I want to do it. So, um, I tried it. I did not post mine. <laughs> mine was horrifying. Um, oh, we saw yours. Yeah, I sent it yeah. to you guys. Um, oh, okay. I thought you did. Okay. It like well, I have a I have a full beard, um, and I'm bald on top, so I have this full beard. So when I put in the uh, the the female one, <laughs> it like <laughs> it like just gave me this wisp of hair on top of my head, and like squished in my <laughs> um, jawline or chin to get yeah, rid of yeah. the beard, but it made this weird <laughs> look like I've been in some kind of accident. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a really ugly baby, like old baby. Like, yeah, <laughs> like burn it with fire. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> and then when I did like the young one, it it made it, it was basically the same picture without the wisp without. of hair. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> but the old yeah. man one wasn't too bad. It was just like nah. an old yeah. weathered hobo. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so like yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Katrin, you haven't tried this yet, have you? I haven't tried it. No, I'll have to. I'll have to do it and uh, post the results. I guess. Yeah. Uh, we can, what we can what is it on. called? It's called Face App. Face App. Face App. Yeah, all one Face word. Um, yeah, we'll maybe we'll post them on Twitter. But the thing is, I was like, man, this is just like bad. This is horrifying. So I was like, I'm gonna find a picture of a celebrity and I'm gonna put it in there. And see if it messes up them just as bad as it messed up me. <laughs> so the first person I think of was was Chris Pratt because there was a commercial for Guardians of the Galaxy on or something. So I was like, I'll get a picture of Chris Pratt. This should be funny. It was like perfect. Every picture is like make him female, like prettiest female you've ever seen. Make <laughs> him old. Oh, he's just a weathered, good-looking old man. Make him young. Oh, he's just. A, uh, a younger Chris Pratt that gets all the girls. It, like every picture was, was perfect. And then I look at mine and I'm like horrifying, weird <laughs> mutant that went horribly wrong. So I don't know. So the, the face app works. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's accurate. <laughs> I, I, before I did mine, I had friends doing it and, and yeah, that all the, 
all the guys that did it, like they're female, they were gorgeous. It's like, I'd date them. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, when I did it, I'm just like, eh, even though you say it looks like our mom, I'm not going with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going with that. I don't think it looks like her. Because I don't, it looks like me and drag, and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I don't. Maybe it's the quality of the picture or something. Because when I get the pictures, like I did Chris Pratt and then I did Jennifer Lawrence, and they look fine. It just it looked. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if it's the quality of picture that it, you use uh, that matters. Um, it's, it's it's the quality of the person. Oh, Kendrick's <laughs> doing his right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. The smile part is really weird. It's just like it's yeah, really it's weird. <laughs> yeah, smiles. Uh, <laughs> These are weird, weird smiles. Uh, but I didn't get to oh. do the sparkle, so that was disappointing. Man. All right, so let's see. I did a female, and then I'll do a child. Oh, okay. And then <laughs> old. I, I need to do the old. Old. Oh, oh my gosh, I look just oh. like my dad. That is creepy. I don't know if you all have seen my dad with the. Oh little... yeah. I'm like, oh, that's, oh, yours looks that's good. Really... Yours looks like a human being. Yeah. Mine looks yeah. like a blob that was like created in some laboratory that's... that grew eyes. That's pretty amazing, <laughs> though, that it, it that I look that much like my dad in that picture, though. That's that's wild. OK. But, what was the um... anime one next to it, though? You had like giant <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah, the baby ones or the little young ones are, are kind of odd. The female one. Uh, ah, I can't do this on the camera. It's too hard. <laughs> There we oh, go. look at that oh, wow. handsome woman. <laughs> I, think I, I think I had a teacher that looked like you before. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You're like so. an English teacher, I think. <laughs> so so we'll try to post <laughs> these to our Twitter, um, I Am Geek Show, um, <laughs> so you guys can make fun of them. That's I'll, right, I'll try yeah. to put the Chris Pratt one up there, too, because I don't know. He's, he's just beautiful. He's just a beautiful man, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Chris Pratt, Guardians of the Galaxy comes out um, here in a few days. You guys excited about oh, that? Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there are, like, the one thing, that so they had their premiere, and I guess all the critics were there, and the critics couldn't wait to, like, get online and post, like, all their critiques and everything and all their blog stuff and whatever, and they're already giving stuff away, it looks like. Yeah. Well, have yeah, to I'm trying to stay away from it's it. Like, stop it. I've already seen a couple of people, uh, a couple of cameos that are going to be made. Uh, trying to stay away from mm-hmm. them. but yeah. I'm excited about it because the first one was mm-hmm. great. And yeah, that yeah that cast just hits yeah. it out of the park. Um, oh, they're so fun! And that's you know that's one of the reasons why we're called I Am Geek from right. I Am Groot. But um, yes. <laughs> It's getting late in the evening. You guys got, have anything else? Well, the Grizzlies just lost. Uh, they're out of the playoffs, in case y'all care. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that hockey. That hockey's crazy. <laughs> but yeah. you, you Texas guys will probably be happy. Getting that spur, the Spurs are in. Uh, I love me a good highlight game. <laughs> I love me a good not watching a game. Grizzlies <laughs> 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 is... Grizzlies is basketball, right? That's right. Memphis Grizzlies. And uh, they were backs against the wall. Uh, elimination game and they uh, at home. And they lost 103 to 96. So, um, I, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> are they all really hairy? Like, are they hairy? They're not. But the uh, you you all would enjoy, uh, or at least Ryan would, I believe, watching the, the mascot because he, he's – really into wrestling and like <laughs> they try to incorporate as much as they can and he he uh there was a somebody dressed as a bear like on purpose you know like it's part of the the little thing the gag or whatever but they he was up on this ladder and then here comes the grizz he comes up and like throws him down onto a table um <laughs> <laughs> up on this high stage that's up in the up in the stands you know it was really crazy but um yeah they're fun. So kills but them. Have kills to wait them. till till October now. <laughs> yeah, I used to watch basketball back when Michael Jordan played. That was my yeah. Really when I watched it. Yeah, the most. I think everybody did. Everybody was yeah. a uh, a Bulls fan back in the nineties, uh, eighties, and nineties. And yeah, uh, and my high school team was I really watched, good, so I'd watch them. But. Yeah, I watched Space Jam. Hilltoppers. Yeah, <laughs> I watched Space Jam. 
I watched Space Jam. It was good. There I like go. that. <laughs> and I always like the Spurs. I always like the Spurs. So, see, I used to love the Spurs. David Robinson and yeah. uh, De- Dennis Rodman and Sean Elliott, all those guys. Uh, but now I'm not allowed to like the Spurs really. But oh, I'll, I'll a, cheer for you're them. Not now. allowed. I, <laughs> oh, I'm a, a Grizzlies fan. I can't. I can't cheer for the the Spurs. But now I can because the Grizzlies are out, and I can yeah. cheer for the Spurs because, uh, yeah. I think I saw the Grizzlies um, mascot. Um, he he a clip where there was these two there was this man and this they were doing like a game during the show where they had mm-hmm. these people in these big um blow up balls like hamster balls yeah yeah mm-hmm. and they were and it was like a man and a kid and they were running down the court and the man turns around and like bumps the kid off the court so the grizzly guy comes out of nowhere and just like tackles the dude <laughs> in the ball yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was yeah. pretty funny Anyways, yeah, he's funny. All right, sorry, went off on a tangent there. Oh, that's that was, fine. I'm, I'm that's geeky fine. about basketball. Well, okay? you, that's you go fine. right you, ahead. You go. Everything right I know, ahead. it's sad though. Uh, most of what I know about uh, NBA basketball or most sports for that matter come from video games, so that that makes it even geekier. But I was like, man, that guy's really good on the Xbox. <laughs> was he on fire? He's on fire. Did he go boom shakalaka? <laughs> no. <laughs> Get that out of here. <laughs> Speaking of NBA Jam, um, there's rumors that there's going to be a SNES, oh, I can't even, yes. SNES classic. Classic mini, yeah. Mini coming yeah. out. So and, it's like, yeah, they'll, the make 50, they'll make 50 of those. Yeah, yeah okay. really. Yeah, it'll be rare to get and are uh, hard mm-hmm. to get. I'm hoping yeah, they'll be NBA Jam. Yeah, well, I'll be interested to see what games they have on that because um, mm-hmm. there's there's so many good games. I mean, there were a lot of Nintendo games I could have put on that they didn't, but um, yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting. We shall see. Mm-hmm. We shall see. Yeah. Well, let's see. Anything else going on? No. 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 So let's see. Assignments. <laughs> assignments for uh, for our multitude of listeners um, <laughs> <laughs> we're growing we're growing but we are growing yeah we encourage you guys to share the word you know when we put it out on facebook and twitter and stuff to share it share the episodes uh we're just about having a good time uh but your assignment is is to uh, uh try out this face app post your pictures uh to us on twitter we'd love to see them yeah uh tell yeah, us, tag who, us yeah tell us who you'd like to see in our uh, battle royale with cheese tournament and we'll see if we can get them in there or what weapons you might like to show up um, and just give us a like give us a comment um, just tell us what you like about the show tell us if there's something you guys want us to talk about uh, we're here to just have fun and um, and we do this um, for us and we do this for you guys so um, if there's nothing else uh, yeah Say good night, Chris. Good night, Chris. Chris. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next week. This is I Am Geek. I'm Ryan Street with Chris Street and Chris Catron. Have a good week, guys.